some of the greatest audio ever. It's the best reality show on TV. It beats American Idol hands down. Hands down, they set up that old house in somewhere in oh. somewhere in California, and now you got the copycats. They're doing the same thing on Long Island. <laughs> They're doing it frightening for the perverts out there. They're what doing it do? all over America now because of Dateline. They're just get renting a house for a day and uh, getting the pervs to show up, hoping they're gonna uh, meet something young and fresh. Do they ever? Do the perverts ever offer to send a car, pick up the fourteen-year-old, and bring them to your place? Is that illegal? Wow, good idea. Because the cop can't really hop in a car and drive to your house. Then they're kind of coming to meet you. Doesn't matter. I'm sure Doesn't? There's, I'm sure no. there's some excuse like, I can't do that. You're going to have to come right. here. And then the pervs are all. Hold on. i got to get my phone. Yeah, cancel the limo today <laughs> that I had going to the middle school. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Chicken's always funny. <laughs> Trying to recover. It's always. It's actually not a bad. I, it, it's more of an interesting suggestion. Like, could you do that? Could you? But then again, if they're set, you? the cop wouldn't actually just get in the car and show up and Order. fuck you. But then they couldn't because then it's just like you know, what are they gonna do? Get out of the limo? You go. That's hey. the fourteen-year-old boy I want to fuck. Hey. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't say that. You're, you're forty-five wearing a Boy Scout outfit, <laughs> sir. <laughs> All right, so let's Love get back to Dateline cars. Internet Predators, episode yep. three. Uh, so this really old dude is going to the house that they set up yeah. with the cops to meet uh, something young. I don't know if it's a girl or a guy. Yeah. Probably a guy. Probably a boy. And uh, here's some of the fine audio. What you up to today? Nothing. Yeah, just to set up. Uh, so the old uh, the old dude is in the house, and also now uh, Dateline, you know, jumps into the room. It's great. They have a. a girl in there that could sound like a young boy or a young girl right yeah and she uh gets them to come through the back door uh-huh right the, uh of the house of course and uh there's the dateline guy right waiting for them all right here we go so uh the old dude is in the house and now dateline uh uh pops into the room to to give him the bad news yeah what you up to today nothing I call you talk with the gentleman i have a place that i have for sales oh you're selling a house uh -huh. i see he was interested well, here's what doesn't make sense about that. How is a 13-year-old going to afford to buy your home? Well, I didn't know how old he was. I didn't ask. Yeah. Stop to ask his age. Yeah. Well, Chuck, the only problem with that story is, is that I have the transcripts of your conversation with Luke. Jurat. What are you looking for? I could be your grandpa. Into young boys your age. Love to cuddle with them, caress their body, work my... And it goes on from there. <laughs> <laughs> work my... I'm disgusted. Let's play match game. Work my... Hairless cock. <laughs> Can I say how much I hate this reporter's voice? Yes. Yes. Oh, she oh, oh, Work it... my... He has, blank. He has too much joy in his soul that he's yeah. doing this job. A oh. 13-year-old boy. Charles Nelson Riley, work my butthole. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Oh. All right, we have more. Uh... Work my prostate like a speed bag. Oh. <laughs> Could you choke me with my ascot till I almost pass out? <laughs> Give me some poppers. Oh. Oh. I like a guy that looks like Brett Summers. Oh. <laughs> Ah, too good. All right, we got more audio of the really old dude. Finally, he decides to tell the truth, I would have and he actually admits that he might have had sex with the boy. But if he would have consented to having sex, what would have happened? I'd be very hesitant at first. If he continued, then possibly we would have had it. Possibly you would have had sex with a 13-year-old boy. If, you know, I felt uncomfortable and I felt that he was, you know, not fit or anything, I would have walked Not away. fit? How can a 13-year-old boy be fit to have sex with a 65-year-old man? <laughs> I mean, fat. Don't you see an issue there? <laughs> well, I see nothing wrong with cuddling and caressing. Then he oh, talks no. about a book he reads no, that fills him with fantasies. It deals with younger, older uh, 
Father's son. Father's son? Oh, you're talking about fathers having sex with their sons, grandfathers having sex with their you know, doctors, sons. with their patients, with the young patients, uh, employees with their young patients. You talk about this like it's some sort of hobby, uh, building train sets. That's not what we're talking about here. It's a book that I read and I fantasize. Wow. Way to not give out the title. <laughs> Is that on Oprah's uh, list? <laughs> Oprah's book. <laughs> I, I, I don't think so. Yeah. I think that guy probably, I, I think his lawyer um, probably would have told him to shut up. <laughs> that, yeah. I, I think that was a bad thing he did there legally uh, yes. for his case. I fantasize about I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm a young boy. I'm gonna, the young manicotti boy came up with a baseball bat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. He's on Ed Norton's uh, baseball team. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. The book's called a million. Big ball, Norton. Pull the diaper off, Grandpa. will get it. The book is called A Million Little Asses. All right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. Some more, uh, more audio from the old dude. Here's a man with the screen name Guy from Mars 83, who seems to think it's perfectly legal for an adult to talk online to a 13 year old about meeting for sex. Guy from Mars. It's my favorite book. Men are from Mars, kids are from Sesame Street. <laughs> I guess this is a new dude, huh? Yeah. This is a new guy. I love him. Anybody home? Yeah, come on in. Here's a man with the screen name Guy from Mars 83, who seems to think it's perfectly legal for an adult to talk online to a 13 year old about meeting for uh, sex. How are you? Imagine the poor guy with the screen name Guy from Mars 82. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, I gotta change my whole fucking screen name now. He's just a this fan asshole. Of, he's a fan of astronomy. That's yeah. all, you know. Guy from Mars, you know. Gets on with other geeks and talks about stars. Hey, and... do you hear about the face on Mars? Isn't really a face. <laughs> Looking from another. What? I'm not a pervert. What? The... No, that's the other. One more up. <laughs> You're trying to rock with oxygen in it. <laughs> yeah. Bunch of guys. Guy from Mars, 80s. Chat with him. Yeah. Guy from Venus. They're having another problem with him because he wants to talk about Venus. And they're like, it's too close to the sun to have life, you dope. <laughs> Uh, that's a very good point. Line to a 13-year-old about meeting for sex. How are you? Yeah, I'm what do you say? <laughs> and then show up at her house. He's 23-year-old Inderjeet Singh. Oh boy. Well, you you can you can talk, you can you can uh, you can converse, but it doesn't mean I'm going to do it, right? Unless I do it, unless you you catch me on point doing it. Ah uh, well. So we you say I would have to catch you having sex with a 13-year-old okay. girl before you could get in trouble. Maybe in before, India. Before you can put me against the law, that it, it is right. against the law. Yeah. So you're a lawyer? I'm not a lawyer. No. Oh. Well, you sound pretty familiar with the law. Well, uh, I'm pretty much into academics, so. You're into academics. Well, let me correct you a you're little bit academic. on how the law works. Okay. Go ahead and turn around for me. Please let me go because. Let you go. Let you go. Uh, why? Right here. I haven't done any any other crime in past. I'm very clean. This Please. is the first time. Yes. Okay. Please believe me. Well, I, I love the please let me go. Like, what makes a person say that? Is it that last ditch effort? Yes. Is it just the nothing? Because can you possibly think they're going to go, he said it. All right. <laughs> I guess we got to. <laughs> they're not letting you go. We should talk to the cops today because no matter what kind of crime you commit, everyone does that. Please, please, please look, come please, on, man. Just let me go the and first I'll. first time. I'll never do it again. All right. All right, you wacky bastard. You can go. <laughs> right. Let's talk to the cops. I don't think it's ever happened. And it's well, they the cops always you know, ask. You make a good point. Just put your hands behind your back. You got to look. You got to step out of the moment. You're not there anymore. Look ahead and see what you're going to do once you get to lock up to get out of that situation. Because once they're doing it, just put your hands behind your back and cooperate. Don't talk to them. Don't do anything. Just go to jail and then decide how you're going to get out of it. Because asking, begging, talking, saying stuff, it will all just work against you. See, uh, it's like the weird – you're like an animal. Like one minute you're relaxed and like you're ready to have sex. The next minute you're a moose. Sitting in a lady's car, <laughs> Your head sticking out the windshield. You just can't believe it's happening. So you're like, I panic. It's, it's like, that's like I almost panic. like that's stripped of all societal dignity, stripped of all messages. That's just basic. That's what you, that's the core of what you want to say. Emotionally, it's one extreme to the other too. 
I mean solid, one extreme to the other. You're whipped up into this frenzy of sex that, you know, you, you think you're going to have this uh, uh, best fetish, perverted sex you're, you're ever going to have. And then a couple of seconds later, you're being arrested. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Can you please just let me go? Uh, no. Um, let me talk about it with the guys over here. <laughs> right. That would be really funny. Let's go, look, dude. It's your first time, really? Because yeah. then they'd be begging. Yeah, yeah, it's my problem. Okay, shh, shh, just, No cops do that just to make their day a little I'm going to talk to my sergeant fun. over here because I'm, since it is your first time. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. And I'll then right talk back. and go, dude, I'm pulling the old. This guy thinks he's getting old. <laughs> look at it. Now let's look over at him. Look at his face, how sorry he looks. <laughs> yeah. And then all nod yes, and you they take nod. the handcuff keys out. You take the cuff keys out, start walking over to them, and then just lock the cuffs so they don't move. No, sorry, got to take you in, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we got more audio from the Dateline Internet Predators Episode 3. This Jack. guy is trying to be normal. That's his screen name. Could you uh, come on over here and have a seat, please? Uh, yes. How are you doing? Good, how are you? All right. Thanks, don't sir. be fooled. Good, Wait until you, you hear more about him. He's a convicted fellow. What's going on? I'm just meeting a friend that I met on the internet. Really? Yeah. He's 48-year-old he Daniel Allen, screen name Trying to Be Normal. Online, he promised to teach a girl who said she was 13 different sexual positions right. and show her what a man really likes, girl. not sex. I don't know how old, but that's why I'm here. I'm Slash. just curious. You're just curious? Yeah, I mean, right. I, I, don't, I didn't bring any booze with me. I didn't... Absolutely curiosity to leave your me. dick at home because I think that's the important part of this whole thing not the booze or the presents, it's your dick. Yeah. And unless you left that at home, please see the man in blue. His chat log suggests something else I will come to you and we will get a place for passionate love. Yeah, well, wow. what does that sound like to you? <laughs> Good point. It's all he says, Oh my god, how cool! And then you say. Wow, 13, am I too old? Nah, am well, I too young? I hate to say this, but okay. you're not. Why do you hate to say that? Because yeah, it's say, like I'm some old pervert, but girls your uh, age yeah, are okay. so much but more fun. Let, let, me, let, me, let me say this. Go ahead. Okay, I, I, I'd have conversations like this with people that turn out to be guys most half, more than half the time. Lucky fella. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, a, but half the time they're not. Half the time, yeah. Good point. Tell that to the judge. He'll be very understanding. <laughs> Dope. You know, a lot of times I fuck kids. It turns out they're older men, Your Honor. Bye. 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 I can empathize. Get half, out of here. Half the time, they're not even kids. Yes. And the other half the time, they're infants. You can't win. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see something inappropriate about that? Well, I mean, m maybe so, but I, I had my... I. My big doubts that she was 13. You know, then he admits this isn't his first time. Um, you visited people who you met online who said they were 13 before? Well, yeah, 13 or 15. So it's not the first time you've done this? Well, no, it's wait a minute. It, <laughs> I've never met a 13-year-old girl from offline. Well, what I'm saying what I'm is, to say. did you ever because, go meet somebody who said they were 13 online? <clears throat> um, no, not 13. 16 in, in my area, and it was a, it was about a, say 21, a guy if you're gonna who lie. had the, a big laugh on me. He's raising the age. I'm dead. 45. Yeah. <laughs> right. <It's> grandfatherly. <laughs> and then it gets ugly. You see how it looks. I, I see how it looks. You're, you're absolutely right. You know, I mean, you're right. I'm now it was time to tell him who uh, I am. Uh, I am Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're oh. doing a story on... Computer predator. Ah, well, you better. I'll shove that camera down his throat. I don't think you're going to want to do that. Why is that? I don't think you'll want to do it. Now, we can't keep you here. If you want to say anything else to us, we'd love to hear it. You're free to leave, obviously, if you want to go. Okay, but can I talk to you outside? No, I can't have the cameras turned off at this point. I can't, there. Well, no then I'd like to say that <laughs> pretty much I think you have it all wrong. Pretty much. But pretty much. your point's well taken. Hi, guys. <laughs> Pretty weird. Cut. I love the you're free to go part. Uh, you're free to go for 10 feet. <laughs> and then you will be arrested. That's him just being a pussy. Yeah. yeah. I can't turn the cameras off You're free off to go because if he says there's you know cops in the area, then all hell's going to break loose, and he doesn't want to deal with that. I then read the transcript 
of the conversation that was about graphic sound. God, his voice. I, it's mind-boggling what a parody of a reporter he yeah. is. Yep. Just smarmy. Sucks. 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 Who talks like that? I would like to meet you with you and cuddle and touch each other. <laughs> really? Uh, what 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 is going through your mind when you're writing this kind of? Yeah. <laughs> Why is it, is it going to hurt the story if he goes? Are you here to meet a minor for sex? Are people going to go? Ah, I know that's not official. Yeah. Who is this guy? Hello, please take a seat. Why are you talking like that? Right. That's what I'd say. Forget about me fucking children. Do a story on why you talk like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hairless asses get me hard. But your voice, sir, it has to be fixed. What is that? Kevin the cop, what's up? Hey, what's up, fellas? Hey, long man. time, long time. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Hi, Kev. Anthony, are you sure you weren't on the job? Uh, why? What's that, uh, fella? Because that whole thing with the handcuff keys is so fucking accurate. You do that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I just thought it would be a hysterical joke. That is so fucking accurate. It's not, I swear to God. I'm a highway cop out on the island. I got a civilian complaint one time for laughing so hard at you motherfuckers. That the person thought I was laughing at them in their rearview mirror and wrote a letter. Oh, no kidding. So what do you oh, do? Man. We know like the you, cops very well. You go to arrest yeah. them and they beg? Oh, all the time. Yeah. Everybody thinks it's just like, okay, um, please. Please. <laughs> well, come on, guy. Give me a break.